little trouble with. The rest of the roosters are becoming nice again. It seems like their hormones are wearing off a bit. They're getting pretty mature. Getting, catching up to their daddy. Hey bud. Clifford over there is even bigger. The 14 other roosters in the other rooster coop are doing really well. They're actually a lot nicer now. Thankfully we had a few weeks of not so nice rooster behavior, but they're turning a corner, thankfully. figured out how Freddie James keeps escaping from the buckling pen. <laughs> he keeps jumping up on this sideways pallet and then he's sneaking on through this section here to be able to get back with his mom and his auntie Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> starting to teach his brother Calvin James, which we can't have that. <laughs> One mischievous little buckling is enough. <laughs> this is what he's using to climb up and try to go through. <laughs> We are building the shelter here. This is actually going to be one of the walls. So this will get built up with a window here so he won't actually be able to access this at all once this is built. So hopefully this weekend we're going to have some good weather and we can put this shelter together, get a nice roof on here and then hopefully that will eliminate him actually getting out unless he gets on the roof and over. Uh, which is certainly possible, but <laughs> the plan is to make a very sharp sloped roof that hopefully he won't be able to climb. But hey, I'm not putting it past him because goats, especially his mom, Fancy Nancy, she's like an escape artist, especially as a kid. She got out a lot <laughs> and she still gets out a lot. So <laughs> Freddie James definitely takes after his mom for sure. And yes, we totally recycled a Sleep Master plastic bed holder, I guess you would call it. It's the plastic that goes around to hold the mattress in place. So we took that and we used it to make a floor that will hopefully be easy to scoop the poop out of and sweep out their little house. And then we're using the bedding sides here and putting plywood up against that in order to have something to screw the plywood to and have a little bit more insulation going through from the wind and snow. <laughs> Figured why not repurpose what we can. And it helps that the bed links together too. But today is a special day because we have our new milk machine in and we are going to milk Fancy Nancy for the first time with a milk machine today. Or at least that's the plan, we're gonna try. <laughs> Let's go give it a shot. <laughs> Planning on heading elsewhere, banging you, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. This really is the 
good place to be. What are you waiting for? Get your phone on. Whoa. She got one off. Okay, my thoughts on the first time milking with the milk machine. Wow. The milk machine milks so much faster than my tiny teat technique. <laughs> and I noticed after it milked her out really fast that milking her after that, her teats were actually enlarged and she milked out really easy. And as far as the kicking goes, as a first time freshener, she does kick when I'm hand milking her. And I felt the kicking was actually less with the milk machine. So it was definitely a new sensation for her. She kept kind of checking on what was going on back there and I would give her some of her favorite sweet feed and that would get her more focused on her grain while it was doing its thing. And honestly, I think it went really well for our very first time and I'm hoping it's just gonna get easier, smoother once we both get the hang of it. But honestly, I like it so much more than hand milking. I am hands down all for the milk machine. Yes, it's more prep work and more cleanup, but I'll take that over the hand cramping and how long it took to try to milk her. And I could never actually get all the milk out of her with hand milking before she would just be done with the whole experience. <laughs> So this is a lifesaver. Let's see how much milk we got. Whoa. That's way more than I would get hand milking. <laughs> She's not freaking out, so I would say that first milking was a success with the machine. I'm so happy that that was a success for our first milking, and I'm really excited about all the milk we're going to be able to get with this milk machine, all the possibilities. <laughs> So you can bet this week we're gonna be doing a lot of milking, getting our little routine down and getting used to the milk machine. And we're going to be making sure these babies can't get out of this enclosure and building their little house. So definitely check back next Friday to see the progress that we've made. Oh, but I just gotta say, I'm really proud of Fancy Nancy and how good she's doing. This is a whole new world for her. And as a first time freshener, she is just doing so well. <laughs> And if you haven't started your farm yet, what are you waiting for? Get your farm on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Do you want a farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah.